Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Bamus Biogenius. Today we will discuss about a topic from immunology that is PAMS and DAMS. So this topic is very important for UG and PG students, so stay tuned. We all know that innate immunity is a non-specific kind of immunity and it brings about large scale or wholesale synthesis of cytokines whenever a pathogen that enters in our body. This large scale synthesis of cytokines leads to formation of fever or inflammation in our body. Now what is the connection in between the inflammation and entry of a pathogen? This connection is with the help of the cells of the innate immune system. The cells of the innate immune system, they are capable of recognizing various kinds of structural motif or structural patterns that are present on the pathogens with the help of their pattern recognition receptors. And when these patterns were identified by the pattern recognition receptors, a signal is transferred to the nucleus of these cells of the innate immune system with the help of various types of transcription factors. That leads to, or the transcription factors, they binds to the specific genes that are responsible for synthesis of uh, proteins that are called as the cytokines. When these cytokines are secreted outside these uh, cells of the immune system or cells from the cells of the immune system, these cytokines then stimulate other cells of the immune system and thus that particular effect of uh, cytokines is amplified. That leads to the inflammation and fever. So these patterns that are responsible for instigating, stimulating the cells of the immune system. Now these patterns can be of two types. See, one is called as a pathogen associated molecular patterns or PAMs and another is damage associated molecular pattern or danger associated molecular patterns that are called as a DAMS. Now as I have told you that the PAMS, these are the parts of a virus or a bacteria or a parasite. Whereas the DAMS or damage associated molecular patterns are the parts of the host cells that are damaged due to the microbial infection. So these two are recognized by the hook-like structures that are present on the cells of the immune system, for example, the macrophages. These hook-like structures, they have a certain pattern binding domain and that pattern binding domain is responsible for identification of these PAMs and DAMs. These PRRs or pattern recognition receptors that are present on the surface of that macrophages or they are also present inside the endosomes of the that particular uh, immune cell or they may be present in the cytoplasm. Now here you can see here for example if that particular pathogen is a bacteria you will find that these bacteria are having various kinds of uh, specific molecules or specific patterns that are present on them. For example, if we take a gram positive bacteria, you will find a lipo, lipotechoic acid that is present in its membrane. Peptidoglycan is also present in the, in the gram positive bacteria as membrane. Then lipoproteins that are also there in the membrane. So lipopolysaccharides. Lipopolysaccharides is a specific for 
gram negative bacteria these lipopolysaccharides are present in the membranes of the gram negative bacteria then uh, various kinds of uh, uh, flagella that are also present in the bacteria and that flagella contains a kind of a protein that is called as a flagellin so that flagellin is also kind of a, a pattern specific pattern for these particular types of pathogens so all these kinds of uh, specific molecular patterns or uh, molecular motifs that are identified by these uh, PRRs or pattern recognition receptors and thereby producing a kind of a innate immune response against these pathogens. Now if that particular parasite or a pathogen is a parasite, protozoan or a virus, these parasites and viruses also have a typical type of molecular patterns on them. For example, in case of parasite, a GPI anchored protein that is there. In case of viruses, viruses have a specific kind of a coat protein or nucleic acid and these nucleic acid coat proteins or GPI anchored that are identified as a molecular patterns, pathogen associated molecular patterns and that are recognized by these PRRs. In case of fungus also, fungus also contains a zymosan. This zymosan is a kind of a beta glucan and that is also identified or we can say that these zymosans are also engaged by these pattern recognition receptors and that can be used for instigating, for stimulating the innate immune system. Now whatever we have seen up till now that is associated with the pathogen. Now what happens if a virus that enters in our body and damages our cells? Now in such a kind of a situation damage associated molecular patterns or dams that are released in the extracellular environment. For example, you can see if a host epithelial cells, these host epithelial cells are damaged by a microbial infection. The membrane of that host epithelial cells will break and because of that, whatever the ATPs that are present inside the cytoplasm that will come out. Now these ATPs, these are considered as uh, uh, extracellular ATPs and these extracellular ATPs are considered as a dams and these dams are recognized by the pattern recognition receptors that are present on the macrophages of the uh, immune cells and thereby producing a innate immune response or stimulating the innate immune response. So this is how the certain kinds of molecules which are uh, supposed to be inside the cell when they comes out that means there must be a kind of a damage to the cells and such a type of damage associated molecular patterns that are also recognized by these PRRs, pattern recognition receptors and that brings about the stimulation of innate immune system. So you can see here the patterns that are present on the pathogen and the damage associated molecular patterns that are generated due to the damage to the host cells that are responsible for stimulating the pattern recognition receptors that are present on the cells of the immune system. When these pattern recognition receptors are stimulated, these pattern recognition receptors, they bring about the signaling cascade or stimulate the signaling cascade that leads to formation of various kinds of uh, transcription factors. These transcription factors enters inside the nucleus of the immune cells and they bring about or they stimulate a specific kind of genes that will produce 
uh, mRNA and from that mRNA various kinds of cytokine proteins that are synthesized. These cytokine proteins are interferons, interleukins, chemokines, lymphokines. So these large scale secretion of these cytokines that is considered as a first line of defense that brings about a physiological response in the patient and that is in the form of inflammation and fever. So this is how the inflammation and fever that is responsible for destruction of these particular pathogens. So this is how that these PAMs and DAMs are responsible for stimulation of other cells of the immune system and brings about or amplifies the effect of that particular cytokines and thereby tackling or successfully destroying these pathogens. So this is all about PAMs and DAMs. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel Pamus Biogenius for latest uploads or like my videos and comment. Thank you.